From the time that I was a kid, I always knew that I wanted to do something really special. I always knew that there was something bigger than me than I was supposed to be a part of. I just didn't know how to be that person. I mean, 12-year-old Jenna laughs at the same dumb jokes and gets confused at the same problems and still has a hard time understanding what God is and what God does. And most of the time, I still feel like 12-year-old Jenna. I still feel like the same dumb things are funny and uh, that I'm confused sometimes. But there is a part of my life that I'm really sure about. When I was in college, I was on this trip and uh, we were talking about Balaam and the donkey and going down the road and the donkey veers off and Balaam's like, donkey, I hate you, because he can't see the angel standing in the middle of the road. And he does it again and he says, donkey, I hate you. And he beats the tar out of him because he can't see that giant angel. And the story continues. And my minister looked me straight in the eye and said, how long are you going to continue to pretend that you don't know God's dream for your life? How long are you going to pretend like you can't see the big things in store? I believe that those big things for me are loving people, fighting for justice, loving kindness, and being in the trenches with the people in the world. And for me, that place that all of that starts is in the church. It's the place that it started for me when I was baptized on the front steps in bright red steps. It started for me in the junior high when I was confirmed in that same place. It's always been about the church for me. And there's nowhere else that I could spend my time. There's nowhere else that I could spend my love because I believe that God's dream for me and for the world starts in the church. And that's where I'm going to spend the rest of my life, in the church. And that's my story. <laughs>